Sabin's old tense assembly is about to be inaugurated. Suddenly, we saw a FIFA or a letter directing the members of the National Assembly to abide by the decision of the National Working Committee of APC. For us, who was a veteran in this game, for us who suffer a lot to defend the sanctity of the National Assembly, we believe it is an insult. We thought the President and the APC will learn from their past mistake in the Seventh Assembly, where President Jonathan intend to dictate to us where we will go in the selection of the Speaker of the House of Representatives. We say no. The Constitution, we must follow the rule of law and the Constitution. And even in the Eighth National Assembly, Saraki Ike is a good example. We must do justice. What we are seeing today is new. There was no time in these 24 years of democracy where a political party with the impunity of PDP in the previous days, there was no time they wrote a zoning and tied a name and sent it to the parliament. This is the first time we see this. We need to come and challenge it. If we follow it now, it means we are inconsistent of what we are doing before. We are with Asiwaju when we fight Ubasanjo. We are with Asiwaju when we fight Jonathan. We formed APC. What is the difference between what APC is doing now and what PDP? The impunity, I can say it is impunity plus. Therefore, it's not all about Barrow. It is not about individual. It is about who? It is about Nigeria and the constitution of Nigeria and our coexistence. When we try to, we spend 12 years fighting PDP. Most of those who are in APC now are opposing us. To the extent they are inviting police to tear gas us and to beat us. But because we believe that we are doing it for the good of our people, we continue doing it. Now they are enjoying it. I didn't know a chef quiet. What will happen? Now, I am not against Barrow. I am not against anybody. And I am not saying anybody is not qualified. What I am saying is the process.